so here we have the pimp on the left and this is a capacitive battery charger it is uh, a manual device so we turn on the voltage uh, switch here the metal switch and we get a voltage reading of about 7.9 volts so this is just acting as a multimeter right now I've also hooked up two alligator clips a black and a red and they're connected appropriately to the negative and positive of this battery um, this is a little APC 12 volt battery and I found it in a dumpster and I don't think it's any good but let me show you why I think that um, so there's another cord that comes out here there's a power cord goes to an outlet and at the moment this black switch would bring in our power from mains and I don't have it turned on yet so let's turn it on and I'll show you why this battery is suspicious boom so look at that we see a voltage reading in the 80s 90s it's jumping around this is a sign of a unhealthy battery this is a battery that is heavily sulfated. It's been sitting so long the charger's trying to rev the voltage up to whatever's necessary to push a half amp through it and it has to be in the 90s to do it. So this battery, although it might be possible to recover it, um, basically using the DePimp as a tester, I would say you should let this battery go. You know, we want a battery that slowly charges from its standing voltage of about 7 volts right up to 8 volt, 9 volt, 10 volt, just slowly 0.1 volt at a time. Um, when it has this much resistance that it has to go up to the 90s, it's not a healthy battery. So this is the kind of battery you wouldn't want to recover, and if you're choosing batteries from an old sets of uh, batteries that have been sitting on someone's shelf or from a dumpster, this is the kind you leave behind. Okay, just to clarify what a good battery looks like. This is a 18 volt battery I found in the dumpster. Someone even took the time to write bad on it. This is the kind of battery that you're more likely to be able to recover. Um, probably because it's NICAD based and they tend to be a little more robust. But we'll turn on the voltage meter. We're seeing about 5.2 and go ahead and hit the AC mains and bridge it into the circuit. And we're seeing a nice clear rise. 8 volt, 9 volt, slowly going to 10 volt. This is a sign of a healthy battery that slowly climbs up as opposed to just jumping right up to towards 100 volts. So the kind of behavior of a battery that you could recover using the pimp is where it slowly rises like this.